gonna fight you. I'm sorry, what? Parking lot. After school. It's on. Charlie Day, you done fucked it up. Hey there everybody, this is Twenty to Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review Fist Fight. So Fist Fight stars Charlie Day, Ice Cube, Tracy Morgan, Jillian Bell, Christina Hendricks, and Dean Norris. And Fist Fight tells the story of Charlie Day, who is this high school teacher. He gets Ice Cube fired for a little ruckus that happened. And so because Ice Cube is fired, he challenges Charlie Day to an after school Fist Fight. So Fist Fight is a film that I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I was actually looking forward to this film. I actually laughed quite a bit with the trailers, surprisingly. I actually really liked the idea of teachers having a fight after school. I just really wanted this to be a stupid comedy I could just sit back and laugh at. And to an extent, I guess I got that, but Fist Fight to me wasn't really that good. Fist Fight, while yes, it does have some funny parts, I do feel like missed the mark on really taking advantage of a concept like this. So to start off with my positives, I do think Charlie Day is really good here. Charlie Day is pretty funny. There are some funny moments that he definitely has. I thought he acted very well here. He is basically Charlie Day, as you can expect with a lot of comedy many actors they play themselves for the most part but I thought Charlie Day did a very good job you could tell he was having a lot of fun Ice Cube I also really liked him here again he's just Ice Cube he plays that angry character he plays in a lot of movies but I still really enjoyed Ice Cube you could tell he was having a lot of fun I thought Dean Norris was pretty good here even if his character is unlikable Tracy Morgan I actually really liked him here too even if his character's like yeah. I also didn't think the direction was really that bad. This film is directed by Richard Keane, and I didn't think he did that bad of a job directing this film. I thought for what he was given, the direction was pretty good, honestly. And some of the writing for the film, I did think it was overall pretty good. I thought some of the jokes definitely landed very well for the film. There's a particular moment with Charlie Sheen and his daughter at this big talent show. That scene, oh my god was freaking hilarious. There's a little running joke dealing with the mariachi band that had me dying of laughter. And of course, the fist fight itself. Wow, that was balls to the wall. That fist fight was worth the wait. It was nice for them to go balls to the wall with that fist fight, which I personally, that was very entertaining. And I actually will credit this film for having a very nice social commentary on the school system. I was not expecting that from fist fight, but that's one of the things that actually surprised me. I really liked that there's a very nice social commentary on how the school system basically isn't the best, how the school system really does not know how to control these kids. I have seen kids that have reacted this way. Yes, some of the things that these kids do in this film are over-exaggerated, but some of the things that these kids have done in this film I actually have seen with my own eyes. But where Fist Fight does fall flat in its face for me, a lot of the humor definitely didn't work in this film. A lot of it definitely does fall flat, and I'll get a little more into why and it's dealing with certain characters, but that's all I'm gonna say. The middle section of the film actually does drag, because the first act, I'll say this, the first act had me laughing. Then after that, that's when the humor really started to die down and the movie really started to drag. And it doesn't really pick up until once we get to the third act. And now one of the things I didn't like about this film is actually Dean Norris's character as the principal. As good as Dean Norris is for the role he's given, I didn't think his role as the principal was very likable. I just didn't really care for him. I also did think that the high school kids they're unlikable, especially this one kid that would blackmail Charlie Day. So it was really hard to even care about these kids. And I know that's the point. They want to um, show how kids misbehave, but man, these kids were actually getting quite on my nerves. And then also, speaking of characters that got caught on my nerves, Christina Hendricks. Her character is freaking psycho. Like, why is she acting the way she is? She's telling Ice Cube to, like, cut Charlie Day's throat, and I'm all like, 
what? Tracy Morgan, he is good in this film, but his character was ridiculous. Like, his character just talks about how he's trying not to get the moms pregnant or anything, how he's trying to control his hormones, and I'm all like, is this really needed? I know it's an R-rated film, but... It's like this film tries so hard to be raunchy for the sake of being raunchy, offensive for the sake of being offensive, and it doesn't quite work here. And also, the worst character in my humble opinion is Jillian Bell. I have not been a fan of Jillian Bell. She was the worst thing about Office Christmas Party last year, and her character continues to be the worst thing. I did not like her at all. I couldn't stand her. Every time she made jokes about wanting to have mm -hmm. sex with the underage kids, like she's waiting for them to turn 18 so she could fuck them, I'm like, stop. Seriously, just stop. And then yes, this film does have things that deal with suspension of disbelief. The kids mowing a dick on the school's football field, I doubt for sure that would happen. And that was pretty over the top. And then there's even the security guard too, which I really did not find him all that funny. He just pops up like once in a while. And yeah, I really did not care for him. So overall, you guys, all I can personally say about Fist Fight is that it's just okay to me. It is a film that did make me laugh at least a decent amount of times while pretty much a lot of the times the humor does fall flat. It does drag honestly in the middle section. The fist fight is definitely the highlight. Fist fight is not something that angered me but it is honestly pretty disappointing because I was hoping to have a solid time with it and it's just more of an average time. I'm gonna give fist fight two and a half out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about Fist Fight. This is 20 to Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!